It is said that the Orkney Islands were created when the giants of the north took two handfuls of mud and flung them into the North Sea. And the people of the north, who were fleeing those very giants, saw the mud floating there and said, well, as well, here is another face. And so they settled. And they were a stark race, a staunch race, a humorless race, but brave and loyal. None more brave and loyal than their young boy king, Lot of Orkney, who went south to become liege to the great duke, Uther and Dragon. Now one day, after a particularly juicy battle, Uther and Lot were sitting at dinner, and Lot said to him, my lord, bare is the back of a man that has no son. I have no wife to bear me a son. My lord, can you help me with this man? And Uther, who fitted his cups, looked around and said, Well, my wife's youngest sister, or goes, she's of an age. She's reached 14, 15 summers, I don't know. Take her. And then he saw the look on the great's face. And slept in the kettles for a week, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> so the bands were bred. More goes and lot were joined. And the next day, they started in procession to the Orkney Islands. Now, Lot had gotten the talking to by a great before Lot. And so that night, he cast a silken pavilion for his little bride with cushions and sweetmeats and a pitcher of treacle. And he looked about as he strode at him. He says, Wife, where are you, wife? And all he heard was a little sniffling from the corner, and there was a stack of fabric, which turned out to be a cloak. And in the middle of the cloak, all he could see were two big eyes with two big tears rolling down the face. And he looked down, and he looked at the pillows, then he looked at the two big eyes again. Did what any guy would do, just walk out. Well, the next night, he spread on the pillows jewels and ornaments and a crown. And he walked in and he saw her in the corner and he said, Little Margot, look, I have for you the jewels and the crowns that all the queens of the Orkneys have worn since the first one walked off the first fighting boat. Please, come out. Please, come, try them on and touch them. And he looked in the corner, and there were the two big eyes and the tears running down the face. And he sighed, rolled up on a cushion in the corner, and went to sleep. Well, he didn't know what to do. He could not arrive at the Orkneys and step off the boat. There was a little rabbit by his side instead of the queen. And he knew he should be strong. He knew he should force his hand. He knew he should be the man and the master. But she tugged at his heartstrings. And he couldn't. He couldn't do anything but try and win her. And so he did what any red blooded fighting. He consulted his lieutenants. And they said to him, Well, women, they love to hear tales of battles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First they go, Oh! And then they go, mm -hmm. And 
did they fought us. Well, he thought it was worth a try. And so he went back in, and he drew his sword and said, More goes! Let me tell you of the time that I defeated the giant. And he was whipping proudly. He was telling her all about it. And he got all wrapped up in the story. And all of a sudden, with a gesture, his sword caught the treacle pitcher's handle. And he lost his balance and crashed into the plate of sweets and found himself sitting there with candy violets in his beard and treacle dripping down his ears. <laughs> well, he knew he was undone. And then from the corner, he heard it. <laughs> A little figure came flying out of the cloak and ran over and threw her arms around his neck and said, What? Ah, you look so silly. And he kind of sat there for a moment, and then he felt a thing he hadn't felt before. It's called a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and the two of them looked into each other's eyes, and they laughed together. And there we will leave them. There's an important lesson to be learned from this. A man can have a woman for a night, or a woman, a man, or whatever. But if a lover makes another lover laugh, that laughter flows together and goes running down. So always, always laugh.